So, it's been a while. Uh, I've not played Scarlet and Violet in many months. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> uh, I guess we're playing this for some reason. I don't know. Oh, what's happening? This is Jock. Hi. Um, we have a school trip every year around this time. Uh, celebration between... Oh. Oh, nice. I get to go somewhere. And experience uh, the great outdoors of uh, off to the east of the land of Kit Kitami Kit Tita Kit Kit. I can't say that. It's a long trip to get the this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. Uh, yay! I'm lucky. All right. Uh, entrance hall when we're ready to hear the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Turn on my mic. Um, there. Hope to see you soon. Alright, alright. <clears throat> Let's do it. Um, huh. Nice little trip. To be fair, I haven't played this game in a very long time. Uh, and for this trip... I... How do I do this? Um... I'm going to put all the Pokemon in the box, except for Quackleball. If I can, I seem to be having a lot of trouble. Alright, Lycanroc and Moshold. There we go. We have every Pokemon inside of PC. Uh, alright. <coughs> uh. Hello. Um, I have not played this game in so long. Uh, alright, entrance hall is like here. Right? It has been a while. Okay, guys. So if I'm a little rusty, bear with me. I have not played this in many moons. Um, yeah. Here we go. I have a tickle in my throat. I need water. Let's go, Coridon. Wow, he moving. He really moving. Yeah, move those legs. Huh. Here we go. Naranha Academy. Um, it's like over here, right? Are we all good? Hello, I'm here for the school trip. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was Nick. Nick, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an, an especially expo exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Briar. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Nick. I'm sorry, I'm wearing a hoodie right now. I know you guys can't see, but I'm wearing a hoodie right now. And it's stinking hot in here, so give me a moment. 
É. Ah. All right, there. What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. It's been like a year, dude. I sure am happy for you. I wish I could go too. <clears throat> huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jock so kindly uh, stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. I've heard of them. That's a school in the Univer region, you know. Miss Briar helps the curriculum there. Helps with the curriculum there. Univer remakes. <laughs> Video coming soon on that, actually. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitanami, a land known for its... How do I say that? Picture squid fields and rice. Uh, I don't know. The place has a rustic feel, but there are there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy. Pre uh, hang on. Whew, it has been a while since I've recorded anything. Actually, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm going to do some digging into the matter myself in between my uh, my supervising duties. Though, I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes. Well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League director and Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable re response soon. Ah, well, hmm. So you can actually do this, like, before the story, so I'm actually kind of curious about that. Oh, sorry, Nick. Forgot to tell you for... Uh, forgot about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think about it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide provide you with a special update to your Pokédex app if you get out uh, if you get out your phone. There you go. My blue phone. Alright. And there we go. All done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokémon you find around Kitunami 2. Oh, and don't worry about the permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things up with your mom. You just go and have fun. I was going no matter what. I'm 18 now. I can do what I want. Haha. <laughs> Your Mr. Jock is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Nick. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitanami. I hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? Am I ready to go? Yeah. Let's do this. I am ready to set out for Kitunami. Great. We'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own while I'm at it. Just so you're aware. By the way... Do you know of the Scarlet Book? I know it. I have it. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century on a on the subject of paranormal. Uh, the author of the Scarlet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. Oh, that's interesting. I even have his original manuscript. Oh, look at that. Look here. These pa these are pages that were blacked out and made uh, illegible in the published version of the book. Um, a disc Pokemon? While separated from research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity, whether it was 
a Pokemon, or even alive at all, I know not. I bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons ugh, and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it uh, resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. A disc Pokemon. I have tentatively named this creature Terapagos. Ter Terapagos, I think. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon dis depicted in these pages is called Terapagos. Its mysterious Pokemon that Hel uh, Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. That sucks for him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't been to able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. That sucks. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Briar, we're ready to go. Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitanami. Let's get moving. Yo, a Dragonite! Uh, so for this playthrough, last time I used a bunch of um, uh, random Pokemon that I just found. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Last time I used a bunch of random Pokemon that I just found. And this time, I plan on using only the Pokemon findable in the Paldea region. So this will be quite exciting. We're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours of sitting. First the plane, then that bus. Haha. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. All here. Then welcome to the land of Kitanami. Uh... This is the stage for all new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have to put out in nature. <gasps> There's a whooper! A regular whooper! It's actually my first time here too. Why, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Mosi Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Cool. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. All that travel must have gotten you a dose of the motion sickness, hmm? Why don't we pause for a moment and take a sight of the fields? Now, Nick, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosi and let the caretaker know we're here? It would be so great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way, then. I'll look uh, after your poor travel buddy here. Alright, respect the buddy system. I can't... Aw, oh, frick off. Well, I can wander around. They said it was... I don't know which direction. I'm just looking for Pokemon. Poke doll. Game's still glitchy. Still... <gasps> Poochiana! Immediately! One of my favorite Pokemon is teasing me already. I was expecting this, but not so soon. <laughs> Alright. Game's still glitchy, I guess. Um, so that's great. Um... The first Pokemon I find that is Paldea, I'm going to catch it. Because why the heck not? A oh, whooper! Whopper, whopper, whopper. Whopper, 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 triple du Del uh, I don't know what it is. Double, trip. I don't know. 
Oh man, it really limits you here. You can go back. Um. Oh no, you can't. Huh. Awesome. Paldea Pokemon. A Swaddle! Oh my god! I love Swaddle. I'm gonna be talking about that in a video. I love Lee Vanny. I love the Swaddle line. Okay? I really do. Oh, they're really limiting me in my movement. So rude. Hello there. These guys look interesting. Sis, look, there's one now. Hello? She looks like Nimona. So you're one of those students who came from Baldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmi. Sorry, but I just can't let an outsider like you wander into Mo uh, Mousy Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Come on, sis. You just want to battle, making a big fuss over nothing. I told you, hush, Kiki. Just ignore my little brother. Oh, man. Alright then, let's do this. Get in position. I mean, I'm okay with a battle right now. I need to get back into the swing of things. It's been a while since I played Pokemon, actually. Have some re Oh, that's kind of... Sus. I thought that was a Cherish Ball for a moment. It's just a Pokeball. <gasps> it's a Poochiana! You're teasing me! What the heck? Poochiana versus Quackwaval. Welcome to Kitanami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Ma'am, that is a Poochiana. It might be level 60, but it is still a Poochiana. You are child, and I am not going easy on you either. Check this out. You've mentioned that I'm no beginner. <laughs> Close combat. Bye-bye. 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 You know about tight matchups, huh? Yeah, I do. Here we go. There goes Buchiana. Who's next? Poltygeist. Uh... Polt? Polchi guys? I don't know that one. Um, let's give it our signature Aqua Step. I'm adjusting. Hang on. That nearly got it. Uh, girl, I don't have a move good against that. Oh, it was it wasn't very effective. Oh, well I don't have anything else that could Wait, if that wasn't very effective then ac acrobatics. Bruh. This sucks. Foul play? That's not good. Um How many more Pokémon does she That's not great. That's not great. I know my type matchups, that, that's just a new Pokemon for me, okay? Alright, Vulpix is next. Do you know your type matchups? Do you know your type matchups, lady? Take this. Boom. Alright. And that's that. You. Who are you? I'm the champion. 
I was gonna continue that, but then I thought it would be better if I didn't. Wowzers! You went and beat my sis? I can't believe it! There's no way you should have been able to beat me! Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Seems I've got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do everything I... Oi, what are you doing causing ruckus out here? Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. B but I... Wait up, sis! She an evil team. I hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Musui town and a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope that those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Uh, one of them was, but one of them wasn't. I don't want him to take it out on the little one, so I'm gonna say no. I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially Carmi. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. She did, not the other one. What's that? A member of your group fell ill uh, down by the bus stop? That's not what I said at all. I'd better get over there and give him a hand so they can take, uh, they can make it to town. Take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in the community center. We'll catch up with you soon. Alright. Later. I am, uh... Yay, I can ride on Coridon. Alright, screw everything. I'm looking for Pokemon. Alright. Cricketot, Cricketoon. Is that a Starly? It is. Um. Give me something. Something new. Um. Rockra, Fomantis, Centret. There is one slot. I am reserving for a non-Paldea Pokemon. Only one Pokemon will be on the team. That isn't Paldea, and I actually don't know if it's in this wave of the DLC or the next wave. C dot. Dang it, I thought it was a Lechonk. Um... Some Corfish, Barboach. Dang. Bellsprout, Ekans. Only old Pokemon. Where are all the new ones? I guess this is... It, this is the Unova region, right? That's, that, that's where... They said that we were in the Unova region. What's this? Vikavolt. Not very interested. Did Vikavolt even learn any psychic moves? Um. An Arbok. Um. Baton pass. That's a good competitive move, but not for this. Where are all the new Pokemon? Not seeing anything new. Moonstone. That could be helpful. Yo, Ducklet. I think we're going to be getting a lot of Unova references. What is that? Oh, that's like that little tea Pokemon that she used earlier. It's lagging up everything. Alright, what type is it? Uh, I'm 
in danger! Maybe not. What if I, like... I don't think I can catch it while it's in that state. Acrobatics. Oh, perfect. Um, let's give it a throw. Uh, what kind of Pokeball? I think a Quick Ball will do it. Let's go for it. Dang it. We're fine. Although we are lagging a lot. Um... Ultra Ball, maybe? There we go. We caught one with a unique water Terra type. And it knows Scald, so that could be useful. Grass Ghost. That's actually really good typing. I might, I might continue using that. I don't know. We'll see. Poison jab. Anything else? I like how it's just like, you shouldn't explore yet. And I'm just like, screw you. Dang it. I love Lee Vanny, but I'm not going to catch it. I'm going to stick to my moral. Only Paldea Pokemon. Last time I used a bunch of other regions. And this time I plan on doing something. I, I wanna I wanna try different Pokemon, so I'm doing something different from last time. Toad's cool. Hello. I'll try catching one of you, although it will be a bit of a Won't these things type overlap nah, actually. I'll just I'll just um stick with my team. Those things are gonna have double type overlap. Oh! Oh, Ryan will love this. Hang on, I'm texting a picture to him right now. I'm gonna text a picture to him. Alright, there. I will catch this. Um, mostly because I do like Gligar. And Gliscor. I know Ryan definitely plans on getting a shiny Gliscor. So, that's cool. Alright, here we go. Now, I don't think I have many good type matchups. Actually, I do. No, because it's pure flying. Uh, let's do this. And it's still a bit of damage. Let's spam liquidation. Alright, guys, come on. Oh, there it goes. It's down. Alright, I'm gonna catch one of these for Ryan. Um, I don't have a moon ball. I'll catch it in a luxury ball. That'll be pretty cool. Hello, Gligar. Let's see if we caught it. Caught it! Let's go. Alright, I'll keep this in mind. Um, because while I do also want to use a Meow Stick... 
I will keep this in mind. Um. All right. Add it to the party. Okay. Um. Let's continue looking. I really want some of the new Pokemon. This is another Gligar? Is that a water type Gly score? I'm just going to text him a picture, like, immediately. And immediately. <laughs> just. I'm not even going to fight this. Oh, no. I, I don't want to challenge. I don't want to challenge it. I don't want to challenge it. Alright. Yeah, that, that's... Um... Yeah, water type Gliscor seems like more of a type. It would definitely be more of a type help rather than anything else. Um. That's a Choodle. I was trying to figure out what the heck that was, and it was a Choodle. While I love Choodle and Dreadnought, don't plan on using one. I've already used them enough this year. I used them for the six month series. I use shiny variants of them. Dang, not much out here, really. Um, how about over this way? Do, do, do. Hold up. Wait a minute. That is a Hisuian Growlithe. How did you get that? And can you give me a, um... Azorua. Look at the apple orchard. It's kind of cute. I wonder if I'll find an applin. If I did, that would be uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. Because applin gets a new evolution or something, right? Um, let's have a look around, Bellsprout, give me literally anything that's different from what I have. How big is this area, anyway? Oh. It's around as big as, it's like a little smaller than Paldea. Huh. Huh. Oops, didn't mean to step on you. All right. Um, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, come on. I like you, Fermantis, 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 but I'm not, not into it. Okay. I'm not using another one of you after the last time. I was playing Pokemon Moon, which is definitely the reason why. 
Um, Fomantis only evolves during day, and because I was playing Pokemon Moon, it, it would only become day at, like, really late at night, so... Yeah, it wouldn't evolve until very late. <laughs> and by then, its stats were so bad that I just couldn't use it anymore. Look, a Pikachu! Oh my god! Um... Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, it's ta Tandemos, uh, or Tandemos. Uh, I've still not learned how to pronounce that Pokemon's name. Uh, I'm gonna check this out. Chingling. Alright. Since the mountain is probably gonna be a much different biome, I'm gonna go up and see what I can find. Ani Mountain. Why am I not finding anything new? I don't want to progress with the story yet. Um... Not until I get some act like some more Pokemon. Wow, there are like no Paldea Pokemon here. Seems like they really went all out and bringing back old ones. Um Really, man? Nothing? I have nearly climbed to the top of this mountain. Whoa, that place looks cool. Crystal Pool. Place is definitely gonna come up later. It's so pretty. Um Gonna be honest. So far, I'm kind of disappointed with my choice in Pokemon. I want to exclusively use the Paldea ones. And it looks like I might have to go back to Paldea to do that. I've nearly explored, like, this whole place. Okay, this looks like a bit of a different biome. All right, open wings, now. Well, I find Ra I found Ryan is Gligar. They're apparently really common. I found a Gligar outbreak. Oh my god, if I find a shiny Gligar in this, Ryan would be so pissed, actually, like, He'd be so mad. You guys have no idea. Gliscor is his favorite Pokemon, and he loves the shiny of it. I'm not going to do that just because I'm scared that of how mad Ryan will get if he finds out. Not that I'm afraid of Ryan. It's just if he finds out that I found a shiny Gligar um, already. And, like, how long have I been recording? Like... 40 minutes into my recording, if he finds out that I found a shiny Gligar, he'd be so pissed. He'd be like, what the frick? I wanted that.
There's a ton more Paldea Pokemon up there. Taunt. Interesting. Um... I'm getting a lot of this exploration going right now, honestly, like... Was it any different with Legends Arceus? Like, as soon as I could explore an area, I did. Like, we all knew this was coming. And if you didn't, well, too bad, it's happening. Um, I'm gonna. Is that a shiny? It's not. Okay, I'm gonna catch this. Um, because I want it. I want it, so I'm gonna catch it. Well, I don't really want it, but, you know, I want to try to catch it, you know? Um... I'll give a great ball a shot. Nope. Instantly broke out. Um... What else have I got? Ultra Ball. I'll give that a shot. <clears throat> Dude. I'm surprised none of them have just been like, where the heck are you? I'm surprised none of them are trying to call me like, where the heck did you go? Oh, it's back. Dual wing beat. Ooh, maybe Gligar can learn that. That would be pretty sick. Alright. It's not worth it anymore. I'll give it one more shot, and then I'm done. There we go. I think it heard me say one more shot. Alright, there we go. Alright. Hello! There's lots of Pokemon here. Yeah, guys, I don't think you realize. If Ryan sees that I get a stinking shiny within the first two minutes, that would be, be my first shiny Pokemon in this game. Okay, I think this is the limit. I think this is how far I can go. Yep, that is the absolute limit. Well, that stinks. Um, yeah, they're really hinting at Unova remakes now. Like, they weren't before. They weren't even giving us a little bit of satisfaction. Now they are. I'm hoping they're open world. If they give me Unova remakes. I want them to be open world. I'll I'll get I'll make a video about that. But a lot of my issues with Unova would be fixed in an open world game. Or a sphere. Cool. We all know that that is my favorite move in Pokemon. I think so some of you know that. Oh man, I'm back at the stinking Gligar um, outbreak. Part of me is tempted to try to shiny hunt one. Just to tick off Ryan. 
However, part of me knows that I'm not going to get it. Uh, my shiny luck, as of the past six months, has been not great. Oh my god, what happened to the frames? There we go. Hello? Goodbye. <laughs> um. Psychic Fangs. Looking around for Pokemon. Give me something here. Come on. I thought that was new. It was a Mighty Anna. Can I stop running into random stuff? Um... Like, I know my team is gonna change, but... I want to get something going. I want to catch six Pokemon before I, um, I start the story. Let me heal up Quackaval. Alright, there. Hi. Uh, you guys just saw that, right? The face on its butt changed. It has a butt face. Oh my god. The one and only Pokemon that you can just call a butt face and not offend it. The Timeless Woods. Oh my god, that's such an elegant name. Um, I saw more Grim. Could go for um, Grim Snarl, but I shouldn't. Mimikyu. Wow, there's like. There's like no n no Gen 9 Pokemon. I probably will head back to the main Paldea region and catch some, but... You know, I was expecting to catch something here. You know? I think I'm going to initiate battle again. Nearly did. Um. Oh! You know what? I'll use a King Gambit. I'm going to catch a Pawn Yard. I'll use a King Gambit. Why not? I'm gonna catch it in a quick ball. Real quick, guys, in the comment section down below, let me know, what is your favorite Pokeball? Mine, personally, is the Moon Ball. Because Moon Balls are cool, man. Uh, I'll use a King Gambit. Actually, wait, getting one is apparently, like, really difficult, isn't it? Hachirisu. 
Dustclops, Bisharp. Seeing a lot more Bisharp now. Could have caught one of them. Oh well, I like my Ponyard. We've already formed a bond that will never break. Um, I'm going to still look around, though. I like how, like, they mention... They've not mentioned anything about the story, and, like, that's because they know no one cares. Um... What's in here? Not doing that. Um... Hey, a Snorlax. Hi. I needed you to wake up. Close combat. Dead. Beat that. We got Gumi. I like Gumi, but... I can't... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. What did I just find? Okay, this this automatically um, seems to sort items. I okay. What does this do? Masterpiece teacup. What about the other cup? That doesn't work either. Okay. I'll look into that. I'm gonna have to look into that. Hi, Femantis. Um. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys are probably looking forward to using uh, Gligar. Keep in mind, I guess they're pretty popular, so, or pretty popular, pretty common, so that's cool. You don't have to really worry about how you're going to get one. That's nice. Um, how do I pull up the map again? Uh, it was Y, that's right. Uh, I've nearly gone in a circle. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Ah. <sighs> Let's try to get six Pokemon. Hey, look, a Lucario. Lucario is such an early game Pokemon in, in this. Like, it's, it's really nice to see because I love Lucario. Yo, I cannot wait. Because this is going to happen eventually. Uh, the six-month series will be a Paldea thing. Eventually. Not now. But probably later down the line. I also have plans for a Dragon-type playthrough. As it's the first game that that's possible, and I'm the low self-esteem dragon. So, yeah. There's a Quagsire. It's not a quad sire though, so I'm not going to use it. Um, okay, hang on. I need I need more water. Hmm. All right. All right. Hydro pump. Neat.
All right. I don't plan on using a water type. Not yet. I like how I'm being picky about the Pokemon I want to catch. Even though I'm... Like, I need one more Pokemon. And I'm being picky about it. To be fair, I should be. Pokemon are, like... You know, you, you gotta be picky about it. Um, hold up. Let me look at the map again. I need to go downstream. Here we go. Gligar Fang. It's interesting to find. Um, dang, there was, like, nothing that I actually, like, really thought about using. I'll probably go back to the main Paldea region at some point and have a look around. But right now, not much. Um, yeah. Uh, the group's probably going to start getting worried soon, because I've been gone for a while. Um, I'll check out this mass outbreak real quick. Um, see what that is. Um, doesn't say what the outbreak is, even though I'm right on top of it. Awesome. Right, I've been gone for quite a while. I'm going to head back to do the story stuff. Yeah, if, if Game Freak mentioned anything about the story, none of us heard it. None of us heard anything. Because we were just like, oh my god, Pokemon, we want them. Um, so yeah, none of us heard anything about the story. At least nothing anyone's talking about. Alright, already went all the way... All the way around Kitanami. Anywhere I didn't explore? Um. Okay, a couple places. But we'll learn more about that later. We are lagging, boys. There, now it's sort of back. All right, here we go. Mouth sweet. Let me grab some more stuff. All right. Let me heal up. Here are all five of my Pokemon. Alright. I'm getting stopped. There we go. This way, everyone. Nick, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitanami. The plan was to have all you and all the students at Blueberry Academy stay here together, 
But turns out, this space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Naranja Academy. All right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So when you come, don't be shy. Blueberry Academy. Interesting. All right. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to raise off the worst of the mud <laughs> uh, using the washing salon by the door. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good uh, as anything you'd find in uh, one of your big fancy cities. This here is the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. And well, let's see. Uh, over there is the cafeteria, and toilets will be down that way. Uh, when you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space uh, that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that covers just about everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to, to our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright, kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? Thanks for having us. Thank you. Alright. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to be a wonderful visitors. So, you think... Uh, of this place as your own home, away from home, and relax. You must be all tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner and call it a night? Got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you've brought your appetites. Alright. Thanks for dinner. You're free to spend the rest of the evening uh, as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. I am going... Uh, Alright, let's. I, I don't really have anything else to explore, so yeah, let's go. Do 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 <laughs> Morning everyone, did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on kids, time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmen. It's a pleasure to meet uh, all you outsiders, I mean, visitors from Paldea, <laughs> Uh, I'm Kieran. Carmi and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be a real help, you hear me? Aye aye. R right. Now that's all settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you. The school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitanami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale that, that passed down here in Kitanami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed it, the task, we ask that each peer take a snapshot together in front of the signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards and complete your mission. As a cell... It's a self-guided tour of Kitanami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on, huh? Wonderful. What an uh, innovative idea for the group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. Roto stick. Oh, this is like the selfie stick, isn't it? Yeah. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you... Uh, like to take photos. I'll even teach you uh, a rad pose I came up with all on my own. Ah, uh, yes. 
real rad. Remember that one uh, of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. Taking that in mind. Okay, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. I'm going to go with uh, the kid. Uh, let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor lonely blueberry students? Yes. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you. Even at home, I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. S sis what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, watch who you call dummy if you know what's good for you. This is- Okay, I'm not- I'm not even lying. This is literally me and my own sister. This is so relatable. You have no idea. Look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to pe- Why is this literally me with my sister? I can't- Uh. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like to battle with you. Sure. Well, what do you do now? Turns out you're sorta nice. This'll make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Nick says he'll battle you. What? What? Wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I got this. Alright, let's see if Quackleval's got what it takes to win one on three again. Alright, Kiki, let's see what you got. Er, Kieran, sorry. Centret. An interesting first choice. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle with you. This is awesome! They're definitely re related to Nimona in some way. Like, there's no way they're not. They got that battle blood in them. Alright. I like how they're all cheering us on. I love that. Yanma. I will switch, actually. Let's give somebody else a try. Go for it, Bombardier. Alright. How many Pokemon does Kieran have? Two. Alright. Buzz those wings. Bug buzz. Interesting. Okay, Bombardier took a bit of damage. Dual wing beat. There we go. That's that. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> Guess I got a little bit of weakness. All right. There we go. Wowzers. Yo, I've been going for nearly an hour. I've not even realized. Good show. Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowzers, you sure are strong, Nick. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go up and impair- Yay! Yay! Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando oh, outsider instead of Nick? Well, no, but- Oh, man. Don't worry. He's just being shy. 
I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Looks like you've all paired up. Yay. Yay. I get to go with the child. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on these Rotom phones of yours. Now then, off you go, do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs of the like, head on over that way to stop by Peachy's. They'd be happy to set uh, you right. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably start with uh, the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure I it might um make sense to you, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your, your way if I stick too close, so I'll follow you from a safe distance. This kid needs confidence, and I will make him have it. Alright. He said this way, right? Uh, Apple Hills. Um... Can I find an apple in here? What's this? What happened? I'm frozen. There. Huh. Oh, there's an Applin. I can evolve it into Driplin in this. What Terra type is it? Oh, Bug. Interesting. Alright, I don't think I can kill it. Yeah, I can't. Okay. I'll catch it in... I'll catch it in a repeat ball, because that seems about right. There we go. Caught it. All right, I got some Applin juice. And I've registered it to the Pokédex. How have I not captured an Applin at this point? Well, whatever. A sweet apple. Knock towel. I think I need, like, a caramel apple or something. And that's what... It, that's what Driplin kind of looks like. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> oh, it's, it's right here. Alright. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitanami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okido Okidogi, Munkadori, and Fezadantipi all happened to be there as well. The three Pokémon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon the brave title, uh, this brave trio, the title, the Loyal Three. Their remains were given a poor, brutal st- Uh, we're given a, a proper burial, and statues of the three were e erected above the site. It's kind of dark. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. But don't you think the ogre in the folktale sounds kind of cool? You think? I don't know. Like, come on. It was all alone. The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own. That's way cool. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times that at night, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, yeah? I don't have a smartphone. Could you, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Is this gonna be like a badge situation? That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. Thanks. S sorry, not trying to butter you up or anything. You know, I don't want to have to come all this whole school trip thing, but... Well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to go into nature around my hometown and talk to you, Nick. That's fun. Pretty sure this, this kid has something. Something up his sleeve. H hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic? Would you like to make... Would you like a sandwich? No, I know who wants a sandwich. What is that thing? Some kind of... Or something? Uh, it's my ride. It's, uh, it's called Coridon. It's called Coridon? And you ride on it, huh? I've never seen another Pokemon like this. It is one of a kind. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Sandwich! <laughs> never thought I'd actually get to meet such an... Uh, Awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Nick. You're... You're real special. So next... Er... Should we go find the next signboard? It's on the grounds of... K Kitami Hall. Um, Kitami Hall is... Well, first double back down from here. The... <clears throat> then there's the bridge you cross from there. You'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Alright. I didn't get a sandwich. Um. So. No, it's not. I, I researched that, didn't I? I was like, can I catch a, um, a Dureladon? And then I remembered, currently, I cannot. I cannot do that currently. Um, because I don't know where to find one out here. I do want to use its evolution, though. The new Dureladon evolution, which... Little Cup is in for a treat, isn't it? Um, if you don't know what Little Cup is, it's basically like... You use unevolved Pokemon in a competitive format. Dureladon will probably instantly be banned. So that's cool. It'll last like a second in Little Cup and then it'll just be gone. 
Um, because Dureladon is incredibly powerful. Like, we saw it in the Steel-type playthrough. It's already pretty good. Um, here we go. Um... Well, I'm back to exploring again. It's so hard not to, though. Um. Yeah, man, it is so hard not to explore this place. Electro Ball as a TM? Um. Hi. Hi, Squabbit. Um. Hang on. Um. Hold up. Uh, hey, Gligar, you want to evolve? Um. Where's the Razor Fang? Here it is. Uh. Oh, it needs to be nighttime, that's right. Dang it. Um. I'm certain by the next episode, I'll be able to come up with more certain of a list of Pokemon that I want to use. But, really quick, I have some rare candies. I'm going to evolve certain Pokemon into the highest state I can. All right, evolve Ponyard. Bisharp, cool. And now, in order to evolve it into a King Gambit, we need like a special, really rare item. Um. How do I evolve you? Can that thing evolve? I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I really want to use. Might uh I might use Armor Rouge. I have the um can I use Armor Rouge? I gave Ryan a Armor Rouge already. I should be able to get one, right? I don't know. We'll um I'll definitely spend a couple episodes just kind kind of fleshing out my team. Mostly because I don't know what this this story is. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. Alright. Had to encounter the spoink. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get back on track here. 
Can I not run into Pokemon? One time I don't want to run into Pokemon. Alright, where am I going? Um... Mm, uh, over here. Uh, it'll be faster if we just climb over the mountain. Hold up. Here we go. There. All right, come on. Whoa, that place looks cool. We're gonna go there. There's a Pichu and a Bonsly and a Clefairy. I'm noticing a, a dramatic lack in the Paldea Pokemon. Like, I've seen six here. Where are the rest? Um... All right, this way. I've arrived at my destination. Oh, wait, it was right here. All right. Hi. Um, you see you showing up like this. Let's read the sign. Yeah, let's do it. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimming masks. It said that depending on the mask, the ogre doned, the powers of its cudgel would change. I don't know what that is. When Mary wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into the withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the le loyal three fell, they rest uh, rested away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? Yes. This is me when I see when I like talk to Ryan about our anime story so far. Just like, did you read it? <laughs> Um, stole or kept over at the Kitamnani Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it wouldn't even care when anyone shunned it. It always wanted to act like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. Mm. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. Bruh, that's sad. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm going to become someone who... Uh, I want to become someone people can rely on. Then just maybe I could be that ogre's friend. Oh, um, right. Picture. We're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too if you don't mind, Nick. Thanks, Rotom, for taking the picture for us. Whew. I knew it was right to call to let you handle it, Nick. Now on to the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb from the stairs over there. If you wanted to, you could go to see the home. The ogre's home. Folks call it the Dreaded Den. I want to see it. 
Y yes, I really wanted to see it for want you to see it for yourself, Nick. So if you keep climbing up, you'll reach the inter infernal pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn right at the sign, you'll re get to the dreaded den. All right. Uh, I'll just go on up then. Come along when you're ready. And be careful. What the heck is careful? Alright. Um. I like how you guys just trust me to read all the text for you. They could be saying any... Do I want a Dadan Sparse? No, no. I'd only want one if it was three segment. Um. Fire Fang. All right, this way. Up. Oh, wait, I came up behind him. <laughs> Nick, did you have trouble getting across the narrow path? There it is, the dreaded den. It's supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it, it heard some kind of battle going on. You want a battle? Uh, since the last time he battled, so, you know, if you wanted to... Um, let's not. I'll wait a minute. I want to flesh out my team a bit. So, yeah. Wait, is he just going to heal me up and then we're going to... Alright. Alright, let's do it, I guess. Um, I guess let's do this. All right, fur it. All right. You'll put up a good fight? That's what I'm afraid of. I, I don't want the first... Never mind. All right. In the next episode, I think we should head back to proper Paldea and spend some time getting a team fleshed out. Um, because this is going to be a pretty short series. I think we need to spend an episode just getting a team ready. Uh, so, yeah. I might trade over the Gligar to... Um, Ryan. But honestly, this team, it's not great. I plan on using King Gambit, but that's about it. Um, I'll look into a Pokedex for what can be found here, but I'm not sure. This seems like a very small Pokedex so far. Um... Bombardier has actually been pretty helpful, though. Alright, there. Alright, your last Pokemon. Come on, Kieran. Uh, Poliwhirl. Um... Poltergeist. Here we go. Poltergeist. Oh. Wait, that might actually be how you pronounce it. Poltergeist. It knows Belly Drum. KO it, KO it, KO it, KO it, KO it. Okay, cool.
All right. Oh man, I lost. Well, that's fine, buddy. The whole point is we wanted to see the ogre, so... How am I ever going to be able to beat you? If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look in the ogre's den. Oh, something's behind us. What's that? Is it a Pokemon I can catch? Watch your head. It's a dead end. There's nothing here. See how dark it is in here? And cramped. Even the floor is all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room for... At our house. I would totally let it stay with us. You are such... A sweet child. No, no, I'm not. I've just always liked the stories about the ogre, that's all. But, but if the ogre really did show up to, uh, to say it at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Yeah, yeah, probably. Whoa, no way, the sun's already gone down? Guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of the Masks over at Kitami Hall. This is a big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out, well, it'd be fun. Ah, uh, let's go. All right. There's just a few things. We'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before we head to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of this... Uh, of the village. It's, um, let's see. I could maybe draw a map. Oh, your Rotom phone has a map in it, huh? Want to register it on your map? Yeah, I would, uh, give that a try. There we go. Wowzers! It should, uh, it sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there in your, uh, in your phone. I can't read, okay? I'm going to ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday, too. I'll be right behind you if you want to head to my family's place first. See you there. Alright. So. As you guys know, I don't really have a team planned. But... Going to Paldea seems like a good first step, because I want to use a lot of the new Pokemon. So, in the next episode, we will be going around Paldea and looking for Pokemon. That way we can have a nice, fun time playing this game. So yeah, guys. That's going to end this video here. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love, and hang on, I remember how to do this. Um, maybe I don't. Hold up. No. I will see you all later. Bye!